Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, my people, my people, my people, my people, my people. I all, you all make me lose my enthusiasm about doing these videos. Your unwillingness to participate and to share when I go in life have made me lose my enthusiasm in doing these videos. Right? So I don't know. Maybe. I, I think I know, you know. Ralph Guns, I have always people just come and flock up my box when I'm doing a video. And they sit there with their arms closed and they don't share the video because they really want to get me to shut up. But I will not shut up. I will continue to speak. But I think I'll go back to doing videos instead of live in, instead of doing lives. I'll go back and prepare those videos and I'll post them. Who watch them, watch them. Who don't watch them, don't watch them. But I think that is what Ralph Gonzalez and his minions in California would like me to do. But I will do what I was born to do. Inform people. Give people information that they can use. You see, the most I have blessed me with an ability to research and to collect information, to analyze and put information in perspective. Right? And that is what I will continue to do. A wise, a wise judge once told me, his name was Judge Donald Ian Mitchell. He said, Alan Palmer. He said, Mr. Palmer, you are too intelligent to be wasting your intelligence in service in the Grenadines. He says to me, after he, said, he saw me did the AIDS project, after I did the, the, the project with, with children at the Vinsave, after he see me spending my vacation, taking people, children, hiking in my adventurous hiking project. You know what he tell me? He said, Mr. Palmer, your people never recognize you, right? They will never recognize you. They would, you, would, you would do all that you want to do. And you will still never be recognized by your people. They will always take you for granted. And I get the impression that that Justice Mitchell is a wise man. He had been a wise judge, but now I think he's a prophet because we see that my people are taking my research, my hard effort on their behalf for granted. But these are the lazy people who never really contribute to St. Vincent, who don't care whether St. Vincent sink or swim. I will continue to do what the most I put in my heart to do for my people. Whether you share this video or not. Right? So I'm going to make a presentation now, a short presentation. Not, I'm not going to present the information that I wanted to present earlier. That research will come on another date. Right? That research will come on another date. And I hope by then I'll get a more appreciative audience who will appreciate my effort on behalf of you, my people, and my country because it's not about me it's not about you it's about the future Vin vincentians and black people have one great thing in common we don't think about the future and we always think the same information coming from a white person or someone else is more pertinent is more important and has more substance than when it's coming from one of their own that is why ralph gonzalez is able to stay in office for so long, to take advantage of our pe advantage of our people, because our people have an inferiority complex that they think information coming from their own cannot be good. If it's coming from a white person, someone who's inferior to them, the inferior the information have to be valid. It have to be worth something but not when it's coming from your own. People, now this is what we see happen here the other day. I don't care who share the video. Share it if you want, share it if you don't share it. If you don't want to share it, don't share it. Um, I see my, my, my niece, Carenza Palmer, have shared the video. Thank you, thank you, Carenza. Share it if you want to share it. If you don't want to share it, don't share it. But this is what I have to say. I don't know how this place comes to that. 
I am sitting here and I tried to do a few videos earlier. All the lazy, good for nothing people who come on this live, they sit there, they cack up their asses, and they refuse to share the video. So I cut the live. But because I, I have learned never to leave anything unfinished, I will come and I will finish this life here. I know I'm, I know Karenza, you don't have to mention that. I know I know anything I do. You accept it, you appreciate it, and you welcome it. You understand? And when I speak here, I'm not speaking about you, I'm speaking about the other people. There are people like Holy Love and some others who are willing and happy to participate by sharing the video even before I ask them. These are my troopers. However, people, this is what I want to say. If you notice, some photograph was made public and was circulating all over social media. In, 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 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, these things were, were trending. Everybody had something to say about these photographs. Photographs with matches upon matches pile up in Nemo storeroom while people in the shelters need matches. Don't worry about these photographs. Right? These photographs were released, released to the public by Ralph Gonsard and his minions. Right? They are trying to take the attention off of them stealing all of the money that is coming in for volcano relief. They are trying to take the attention off of the multi-million dollar storm Gonsavs, the multi-million dollar project storm Gonsav is getting involved in. Right? So what they're trying to do, they're trying to divert our attention from the real issues. And we have to be careful that we don't get diverted. Because what we see happening is that these things look like a blatant and total injustice against the people who are in need, right? But there are bigger issues and bigger problems there that we have to face because what comes out is saying, let them fight up and argue over those matches while we put millions of the dollars that they should have been getting into our bank accounts. Let them put, let us put, let them fight up over the mattresses while we go and take away these lands from these people in Beckway so that Storm can become a multi-millionaire. You understand? So it is a whole part of the, those photographs were not released by accident. Those photographs of those matches in the in, in Nemo store, storeroom were released by design, by Ralph Gunsar design, because he wants you all to fight up and argue and point your finger at Nemo and talk about their waiting on a list of ULP supporters' name to give these products to. And that might be true, but guess what? That is not the prime and most important issue that we have to deal with, right? That is not the prime primary issue that we have to deal with. There are hundreds of millions of dollars that is coming into service in the Grenadines, right? That they are trying to steal. They are trying to steal this money and put them in their personal bank account in Switzerland, HSBC bank accounts. And this is what we have to be focused on. They are trying to weasel this lady, these people out of their lands in Beckway so that Storm could invest money that they don't have. There is no telling where Storm Gonsav is going to get this money he's going to invest in this multi-million dollars project, housing project that he's starting in Beckway, right? And if the trend of the Gunsar family is anything to go by, we know that they are a dishonest bunch. So we have to believe 
that wherever Storm Gun Sav is going to get this money from. It's going to be from a source that is not reputable, a source that is not, imp that is not legal. He might be using so resources that is coming from drug dealers. He might be washing their monies. We don't know because we don't know who their investors are. Who is going to be investing in these projects? Huh? Nobody knows. So that is why they release these photographs of the mattresses so that we can take our minds off of the real issue, the big issue, the important issue. And we, like silly people, fighting up about who's going to get a mattress in a shelter, fighting up over these mattresses. Well, we're concerned them. Dig out the eyes of the entire nation. Raid the treasury. All of the resources that is coming in for volcanic relief. Put it in their Swiss bank accounts while we bicker and picker over the trivial stuff as to who is supposed to get a matches. You understand? And these matches, these mattresses, they came in free. You understand? So don't allow yourself to be distracted. Don't allow yourself to be, to be distracted by Ralph Gonsal's plot and plans. Because it is their plan to keep you distracted. It is only when you are distracted. It is only when you are focused on the wrong things that they are able to dig out our eyes, that they are able to oppress people. It is only when we are distracted so we cannot allow ourselves to be pickering and fighting over some matches, right? Yes, they came in for the people in the, sh in the shelter. If the people in the shelter don't get the matches, they're not going to die, right? But if we allow Ralph Gonsal to steal these monies that are coming into our countries, you know what is going to happen? They are going to become more oppressive. Everyone is going to get feel more pressure so the thing is it's not about the mattresses don't become distracted by the small things people don't become distracted by the small things you think that Ashel Morgan situation just happened by chance no you see if I explain the integral things of how these people operate these car of people Right? How do you use demonic forces to put thoughts in your head, to put impulsive thoughts into your head, thoughts that you think are your thoughts, and you dwell on them, and you execute, execute them, because they make it feel that this is your thought, and it's a good idea, and it's something that you need to do. So Ashel Morgan was also a means of distracting the community using demonic forces. You understand? And we cannot afford to be distracted because we see Ralph Gonsalves have already distracted Dr. Friday. The man who is supposed to be leading the charge to ensure that accountability of the resources that comes into St. Vincent from donor agencies, from donor countries are properly distributed, are properly spent and are properly accounted for, right? He is busy doing other things, doing things that he should not be getting involved in. Yes, that is, that is true, Mr. Kidd. When you allow yourself to be a vessel for a negative force, these things can happen to you, you understand? So, so sometimes you see, Sometimes you see these things are happening in service. It's not by chance. It's by, it's, it's by demonic influences. I have been there. I've been under the influence of those things in California here. It is in California here where I learn these. It is in California here where, when, where I learn all of these things, where I get an understanding of how these people operate and how they use these things to distract the people. You understand? So what they're trying to do, they're trying to distract our people. They're trying to take the people's mind over the things that are important, the things that they should be focused on. Holding them accountable with the monies 
that are coming in not to be fighting over some mattresses or uh, who's going to get them who get them it doesn't matter who get them because it's not a hundred and ten thousand matches and everybody's supposed to get one it's a few matches right and it's only a few people could get them so don't worry about that don't sweat the small things people another thing dr friday and them should be thinking about ralph gonzalez plan is to simple right criminal accounting that is what they're involved in criminal accounting this is what they're doing they're inflating the cost of everything every money they spend they inflate the cost of the spending they doctor the accounting duplicate the records and they send the same records for example they spend five hundred dollars here they send it to england to france to grenada to dominica all who give us thing that this is how your menu is spent so now all over the world when you do the combined mats millions of dollars are spent in service and Canadians. but guess what the reality will say it is only a couple hundred thousand dollars are spent right and they lie on the records they lie on the instrument that they send into these governments in giving accountability to the British government to the American government, to Grenada, to Dominica, that we spend your money this way. But if all of these people decided that they are going to examine each other records, they will notice that the records are the same, but the money that is accounted for is far less when they when 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 do the maths. They are doing criminal accounting, inflate the cost of the things that we purchase and distribute, doctor the books to make it look like it's reflecting the monies that we receive and duplicate, duplicate and replicate and triplicate the records and send the records all over. Nobody will know the difference. This is Ralph Gonzalez accounting. You understand, people? This is Ralph Gonzalez accounting, and they could only get you with these accounting. While they have us fighting over matches. When they fool the world, and nobody is doing the maths. Nobody's taking note. Nobody is, is, is holding them accountable. Nobody's going to these people's website and say, wait, this on Trinidad website and this on Grenada website is the same ads, is the same accounts, the same project. But Trinidad government believe that their the million dollars were spent on this project. Grenadian government believe that their million dollars were spent on the same project. The United Nations believe that their million dollars were spent on the same project. That is five million dollars spent on one project. But only a couple hundred thousand dollars was spent in all. This is what they are doing, people. You cannot depend on Dr. Friday. Dr. Friday is in on the plot. Because it seems that he come home to get a living too. You understand? He probably couldn't make a living where he was making a living. So he come home to ensure that he is able to retire in style like a Ralph Gonzalez and they want to retire in style that is all I can say because no one who is interested in the people's business no one who is interested in the people's welfare could ever function as opposition leader in such a lame capacity as Dr. Friday is functioning let me tell you something right one time I was coming from Bermuda Going home for vacation i think it was in november of 2004 and while i was on the plane i sat next to a lady and she i think she was she had a high profile office in the oecs 
at the OECS desk, right? So while I was there, she said, where are you going to? I said, I'm going to St. Vincent. We, start, we have a conversation. And she said, oh, you're from St. Vincent? I said, yes, I'm from St. Vincent. Uh, we start talking. Why was she asking about the politics in St. Vincent, the Grenadines? And I said, yeah, I, I follow the politics because I'm into it. I, I respect and I admire Arnim Eustace. This is what I told the lady, right? The only politician I respect and admire is Arnim Eustace, and I follow. He's the only pol pol politician I have ever put my support publicly behind. Not John Hahn, not anyone else. Arnim Eustace is the only one. She said, he, he's a fool. Arnim is a fool. I offer Arnim Eustace a job in the secretariat. That will pay Arnim Eustace more money than he will make as a politician, as a prime minister in service in the Grenadines, because she was in that capacity. And he refused it to run, run up and down in service in the Grenadines behind people. This is what she tell me. People, I could have, I could have just jump up my, my straight and choked that woman to death when she told me that. She said, Arnim Eustace is a fool. We offer Arnim a job. That will pay more money than he will get even if he's Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And he refused it to run up and down St. Vincent and the Grenadines behind these people. That is what the lady tell me. The first thing I did when I get home, I went to see Arnim and tell Arnim what the lady say. You understand? So Arnim was a fool because he loved his people. Arnim Eustace was a fool. Because he wanted to see the best for his people. And him useless was a fool. Because he spent his time running up and down. Trying to solve our problem. That is how they see and him useless. Dr. Friday is a wise man. That's how they will see him. Because he is allowing our country to be thrown to the dogs. And dogs are shitting and pissing on us. And there's no one to clean it up. You understand? I tell you, there is, if Dr. Friday is not being paid, if Dr. Friday is not being paid, or is receiving some benefits, or if he's not a slave, something is wrong. Something has to be wrong. I'm telling you, people. Dinky Balcom. And Ronia Balcom, a couple who is involved in construction. Ronia is a lawyer by profession. Dinky is a manager of a company, Bally's and Bally's. These two business people in service in the Grenadines went to the Caribbean Development Bank and report Ralph Gonsalves and ensure that the Caribbean Development Bank stopped the project. Because the project was being done illegally. If Ronnie Balcom and Dinky Balcom, two ordinary citizens, one a lawyer who is a part of her husband's business, and one the manager of a business of a, a small cottage construction company, are able to move the hands of the Caribbean Development Bank and get them to take actions against the unlawful tendering and the unlawful practice that Ralph Gonsalves is in involved in in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You want to tell me a man with the title of opposition leader behind his name is unable to do anything? Huh? This is not how it works. People when you have this title behind your name, institutions like the CDB, like the um, the British High Commission, the United States Embassy, and all of these things, people, holds you with respect because you are an elected representative who has a capacity and the responsibility to look out for the appears. Of the people of your country. Have Dr. Friday ever tried to meet with the US pre um, 
ambassador in of, of the OECS? Have he ever tried to meet with the British High Commissioner in Barbados? Did he ever call the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago and say, I will be in Trinidad and Tobago. I would like to have a meeting with you, even if it's for a photo opportunity. Did he ever call any of these leaders of the... Of, listen to me, man. You are a leader. You are a leader of people. You are a leader of men. You are a leader. You are the second highest leader in a country. The opposition leader in parliament is the second highest leader in the country. And you are afraid. So somebody may say, I, I don't have no time to see you. Make an appointment and see these people. So when you have concerns, you can go to them and tell them what are your concerns. For example, when the British High Commission was dispersing money that come from England, you could have gone to the High Commission if you have established a relationship with them. Right? It's not political. It's diplomacy. You understand? It's not political. It's diplomacy. You are going there not as the, the president of the NDP. You are going there as the leader of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines opposition to speak as one leader, minor leader, to another leader. Jen Hattie McDonald saying, leader of the majority, don't know why he is staying behind. You're right, he's the leader. And, 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 and you know, that's a very important point that you make. He is now the leader of the majority of the people in the Uganda. According to the results of the last election, he got most of the votes in the last election. So, therefore, he is the leader, the majority leader in the Grenadines. So, you want to tell me that the British High Commission would ignore him if he goes there? and ask for a meeting, they will never do that. Because these are people who deal in diplomacy, right? And people who deal in diplomacy understand the political system, understands that he has responsibility to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They will never turn him down. But he is too afraid to try to make an appointment. Even me, in my capacity as private citizen, right? I made an appointment to see the, the High Commissioner of the British High Commission when I was looking for funds to do my, my, my AIDS project. I went to the office. I made an appointment to see the British High Commission. The person who was in charge in the St. Vincent office came and spoke to me and said, the High Commissioner is not here right now, right? But... Maybe I will be able to help you in what you want. Me, simple old Alan Palmer, was willing to go to make an appointment to see the High Commission to carry on a project. Right? They promised me $52,000 to run my AIDS project. You know what? Ralph Gonzalez and them used, he used Dr. Um, what's his name? My cousin, Dr. Slater. They go and they bar me. They block me. So they're going to take the money to do research. Up to now, the research has not been done. People, if I can, if I'm not ashamed of being embarrassed and insulted and telling me we don't have time for you, why would a man who is the opposition leader, who has a PhD behind his name, you know, I have a, I, I, I have my name? N O F H I N G. I have nothing behind my name. So when I see Alan Palmer, nothing. You understand? If I can do that, why he can't do that? You understand? If Dinky Balcom could write report and submit evidence to the CDB, why Dr. Friday and Cummins and Leacock, all of these bright boys, why they can't do it? These are just simple questions. 
But the main thing I want to say here today, people, don't get distracted by the small things. Don't get distracted when they show you all these things pile up in the storeroom. Right? Ralph Gonsalves is who gave them the instructions to release the photograph so that you all stupid asses can fight over matches that aim belongs to you. Fight over a few matches and every Vincent can and get one. Right? While they steal millions of dollars and put it in their HSBC Swiss bank account. While they rob the people of Beckway of their lands so that Storm Gonsalves could invest money that he don't have in projects that he can't afford to become a multimillionaire. Natasha De Bruyne, why is it? The opposition should be the one fighting for the rights of Vincentians. However, they are not what they are. They are afraid. What they are afraid of, there's enough crisis. Michelle, um, Natasha De Brown, you are correct. And they are the one. But yet, here they have the people say, where is the Christian council? Where is the Christian council? Let me tell you something, people. The Christian council is a war not elected to keep the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines accountable and responsible. That's not their job. Their intervention in anything in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is merely conscience. Right? And if those people don't have a conscience, they are still a group of people who were elected to take care of the political affairs of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and to hold the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines accountable. So don't try to... You know, we have, a, 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 we have an acute problem of pushing blame where blame don't deserve to go. We want to blame the Christian Council, right? Because we don't want to offend Friday and to say Friday lazy and he inept and he don't know what he's doing. It is not the Christian Council's job to keep Ralph Gonzalez and his government accountable. Yeah, anything that they do, right, is, a, is an act of conscience where their conscience would have pricked them. But if they have no conscience, you don't expect them to do anything, right? John the Baptist, when he acted, he acted out of conscience. Your conscience is, is man's seat of God, where God talked to you. Right? Half of these people in the Christian council are homosexuals. They don't have any conscience because the most I have already abandoned them. So how you expect people who has no relationship with God, who have no relationship with the most high, who are in the business to make money, and to enjoy life here because the afterlife is hell for them. How can you expect them to stand up for you? When you went to the polls and you say, Dr. Friday, Leacock, Cummins, and so forth, this is your job. You will be paid from the government coffers to keep this bunch of crooks and liars accountable. That is not the Christian Council's responsibility. Vincent and two, Kong Kong, sir. We never want to put the blame where the blame is supposed to go. Right? Christian Council don't have a setting where the political affairs is concerned in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Christian Council is not being paid to represent Vincent in the House of Parliament. So all they leave the Christian Council alone, right? Their issue is an issue of, con of conscience. And if they have no conscience, you don't expect them to find a conscience that they don't have to intervene and intercede in a place and in a situation where we're having problem. Come on, people. Put the blame on the shoulders of Dr. Friday and the politicians 
who were elected to take care of the affairs of government by holding the government accountable for their illegal, unlawful, and criminal behavior. Not the Christian Council. Not the Christian Council. As I said before, half of the men and women in the altar in St. Vincent the Grenadines are homosexual. That is why the Most High is, is doing what he's doing. Right? They are leading his people astray. They don't have the moral fortitude or an actively working conscience that is moved by the Holy Spirit to do anything positive on suffering people behalf. Castle 5, how are you? You're late. Nice to have you, Castle. Right? So don't blame the Christian Council. Put the blame right at the feet of the people. Let me tell you something, another thing. I have a girl who has sent me a lot of um, videos and so forth, right? Trying to convince me that she is an NDP. It doesn't matter where she is. I don't care. But she wants me to believe that she's an NDP and so forth. She is one of the biggest proponents of Dr. Friday. But guess what? She is working for Ralph Gonsalves to have a big mouth out there on behalf of Dr. Friday. So anytime anyone say anything about Dr. Friday to get rid of him, she will immediately and venomously object. Leave Dr. Friday. Because it is in, Doc, it is in Ralph Gonsalves' interest to have Dr. Friday as the leader of the opposition. It is in Ralph Gonsalves' interest to have Dr. Friday as the leader of the opposition. So that is why you see when people like them come and tell you or send videos and send things to you, right? Listen to them. It is only a clung who would see a man is incapable of doing a job and say, leave him there. They don't have any interest in the people of St. Vincent the Grenadines. They don't have any interest in the development of our country. They are only concerned about keeping their rapists in power because they are all suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. Let me tell you something, people. Right? Don't sweat the small things. Ralph Gonzalez is hoping to keep us so distracted that we fight over the matches. That is why he released the pictures. Those pictures came from the office of the Prime Minister. They were released so that they could get the people all riled up and angry and distracted and focused on matches. While he, Julian, Camelo, head to the Swiss bank with millions of dollars that should be going to the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That should be going to farmers to deal with the predicament they find themselves in after the Lusufre. We have Mr. Lamkin down there, right? He understands farming. He understands what is happening. He's trying his best with the farmers in his community. You think they like Lampkin? They want to get rid of Lampkin. You understand? Because anyone who is working for the interests of Finns and Chins, they want to get rid of them. That is why they caused my YouTube channel to be pulled down. Because the people in YouTube land were following me and they were supporting me. So they get it pulled down. So all of those followers don't have anyone to bring them up to date. Now I have to try and rebuild a neutral a YouTube channel. Now I have to try and get those people back to where they belong. You understand? Where they can get the information. The YouTube, I tell you this, you know. This here, this Facebook page you're watching here, watching me on, they are trying to get it pulled on also. You understand? They are trying to get it pulled on. Michael Brown, Nice to have you, my brother. Nice to have you. And Mikey, I was telling them that the photographs that was released recently with the mattresses and so forth, that they're not supposed to take those photographs serious, not supposed to get rolled up over it because those photographs were released by Ralph Gonzalez to distract us 
from the main issue the things that are important that we should be paying attention to things like the investment that storm gonzales is getting involved in evelyn spence thanks for sharing in Beckwith, the manner in which they are acquiring these lands are reason for concern i told you all that so they want to take our minds off of these things put it on the simple things uh, let, let let those stupid asses fight up over the matches that ain't belongs to them you understand uh, so i am trying to get my people not to focus on those things they are not important the important thing is to ensure that the aid and the relief that is coming for vincentians goes to the right place and not into ralph gonzalez pocket to ensure right that we know who are storm gonzalez investors where did storm gonzalez get the initial money to buy the lands in Bequi? where did he get the monies to form his company all the forming the company is not an expensive we want to know all that who are going to be his investors where did they get their monies from are these investors involved in criminal activities are they wanted in the same way that david ames was wanted in england are these investors trying to launder money same as the grenadines and storm gun serves is the ideal person to launder these monies so these are the things that we have to be worried about these are the things that we have to focus on because if we focus on the wrong things we will see the people of the St. Vincent and Grenadines get poorer and poorer and poorer. Well, Gonzales and his minions will get richer and richer and richer. And they will be able to use the stolen riches of our country to pay others to oppress others. That is all they want, oppression in our country. We cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. So people, I know you all take me for granted. You all don't think what I have to say is worthy to be heard. You all don't think what I have to say is worthy to be heard by others. That is why you all don't share my video. Right? But it's quite okay. I will bear the brunt of the abuse. I will bear the suffering that I have to suffer every day. Right? But guess what? The most I don't sleep. The most I don't sleep. He sees and knows all. Right? All of you who come and fill up my inbox and tell me this and tell me that. All of you who come and have your seat to hear me talk the truth. And then you refuse to share the video. And then you tell people don't listen to that because he ain't saying nothing important. He's just running on Dr. Gonzalez. Right? Preventing people from watching the video, preventing the people from getting the information that they need. Most I don't sleep, most I will deal with all of you. It's like that lady who supports Ralph Gonzalez and trying to pretend that she's an NDP girl, sending me videos and trying to friend up with me. But one, what one, Dr. Friday to stay in office while he's doing nothing? The most I can burn all of them. Right on this right here. I mean, I ain't talking about Helena. She can't, Ralphie, you talk right. She can't, because that's all he's doing. Chicory, lie, deceit, and chicory, that's all the man is involved in. You understand? People, I think I've talked enough. If you think my message was good enough, share the video. Right? I started this video three times, but nobody shared it. And I say, you know what? To hell with them. I, I, I stopped the video. But I say, let me come back and let the people, because... You have to remember that is what the enemy wants the enemy wants his people without a defense without a voice without correction without reproof and i if i am the voice of reproof and i would told myself because the enemy sent his people and they won't share the video or want to do something against me then i will be playing into the hands of my enemies i will be playing into the hands of my people's enemy i will be playing in the hand into the hands of the Mosai's enemy people castle five i thank you for sharing the video right so
That is why I come back. And that is why I decide to do this video. So I am not going to be playing into the hands of my enemies. I'm not going to be leaving my people without a voice of reason, without an objective voice, without a voice of reproof. Because that is why the Most High blessed me with all of these knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. That is why he gives me the insight. And if I don't use it for the benefit of betterment of the Most High people, the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I'm going to lose it. I honestly believe that. Natasha. The opposition should be the one. The Natasha de Brown. The opposition should be the one fighting for the rights of Vincentians. However, they are not. What are they afraid of? There is enough crisis. She cared Monty Ralph, Chief Cared Ralphie. That's what he is exactly. Daryl Kidd. Nice to have you again, my brother. Um, let me see. John Hector. John Hector is saying, for some reason, John Hector McDowell is saying, for some reason, I cannot share when you are live. I'll share after. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for sharing. And Bafig, I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. He's a promise. He's a prime monster. That's what he is. He is a prime monster. He's a monster. He has a heart of a devil. You understand? He has the heart of a devil. He's evil. You know, the most I says that we must not elect or appoint anyone who's not of our own to rule over us. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. We elect someone who is not of our own. Who is not of our race, who is not an Israelite to rule over us. People, on Thursday, on Thursday, right? On my next Facebook page, I'm going to do a message from the Most High. On Saturday and th Thursday and Saturdays, and Tuesday, Thursday and Saturdays. I, I alternate them between th Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to do a message from the Most High, but today we're talking politics, right? So let us see what happened, people. You know I love you. Your name Vinci? What's your name Vinci? Castle 5 is saying. Don't bother with, with James Mitchell. James Mitchell and all of them have the same agenda. They have the same agenda. They know that this... Let me tell you something, right? These people know that this vaccine is not tested, is not tried. They know that there are so many complications that is coming from this vaccine, especially the Ast AstraZeneca. And they're still forcing people to take it. Remember, James Mitchell represented St. Vincent Grenadines for, oh, for four, four election he won. He represented St. Vincent Grenadines for 17 years, right? James Mitchell is Caucasians. There's a, there's, there's a white people agenda to dehumanize and to, 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 to put us into subjection to them. What they realize, they realize that the most high have been opening the eyes of his people all over the world. Right? So they are afraid because they don't want to lose. They don't want to lose the hold that they have on power over black people. Right? So they are coming up with all of these things and they are lying and says, saying things like the COVID-19 have been affecting black population more than anyone else. They lie. We are the original man. We are from the creator's hand. Right? There is nothing that the white man can build to affect us that don't impact them more than it impact us. They're lying. Don't bother James Mitchell. James Mitchell is the Caucasians. Natasha, you're learning. You're learning. The sons of Satan. It's in the Bible. But they control the Bible. They don't. They don't. They don't share it because they control. They teach the prophets and the bishop and the preachers how to preach the Bible, so that you don't know what the Bible say. Don't bother these people. They are all demons, sons of Satan's. The Bible said clearly. 
but you'll never hear any preacher speak about it. My people. Since we're going to this prayer with the most the son, the diaspora machismo, saying, I'll talk to you, I think, as Bon Jessup have just shared. As Bon, if you just came, I thank you for sharing the video, but I'm leaving now. That means you have to go back and watch the video, right? And when you share, tag someone in it. My people, I thank the Most High for giving me the opportunity to come and share the knowledge, the understanding, and the wisdom he has bestowed upon me with the people he loves, the people that I love, the Vincentian Caribbean diaspora community. I gone.